Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Multiple areas to watch, but no big signs of development. However, a new spot, I wanna get into that in a moment, watching some of the rain that we've been seeing from the Bahamas back through Cuba, near the Cayman Islands in Jamaica, also parts of uh, uh, Central America. And then we had some heavy storms overnight, parts of Guyana. Yesterday, we had some rain sneak in to uh, Trinidad. So lots to track and the possibility of some development in the Western Caribbean, but watch this area. This time of year, we look close to home. We're not necessarily looking off the coast of Africa, right? We look close to home with old fronts. There could be a spin developing right off the coast of the Southeast US over the next couple days. I do believe there'll be a little bit of a development in this area close to home, and then it should shoot away. Will it form into a tropical storm? Most likely not, but there is the possibility that that uh, does happen. I wanna show you that with with both of the models, the American model, European model, look at some of the other modeling as well, and what's going on in the environment. As we swing out here into the open waters of the Atlantic, of course, we have a lot of dust. I'll show you the dust for today and the week ahead, but a new tropical wave coming off. That's an area of scattered rain and storms off the coast of Africa. So we'll watch that as it marches across the Atlantic. Now, watching two areas in particular for the chance of development, but it's a low chance. The American model is still the only one trying to develop this area in the Western Caribbean, and it keeps pushing it down the road. If the American model were right, there would be a tropical storm forming in about two days in the Western Caribbean, and that is not happening. It is showing a tropical storm eventually developing as we get several, several days out in time. But the other models are showing nothing. The European, the Canadian, and the ICOM models nothing as far as development goes. So we'll cover that together. Then we swing up here off the coast of the Southeast US, right near North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, uh, not seeing much in the way of models picking up on uh, say a tropical storm developing, but they are picking up on a spin developing. And even the Icon German model shows this area potentially becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm. So there will be a little spin forming in here. And there's a warm water current right through here at the Gulf Stream. We'll show you that in just a second. It could feed off that temporarily. A tropical storm can develop in this area. Is it a low chance? Yes, but it is a possibility just over the next couple of days. So we'll start here. And then I wanna to work to the north because right now we have that rain, parts of the Bahamas over toward Cuba, even the Cayman Islands for today, watching the rain, Guyana and Suriname, and then Costa Rica and Panama and scattered about elsewhere. Now, we'll slide into the dust in just a moment, but let's cover this. As we work our way into tomorrow, see some of that rain sinking down to the south, still in some of the same spots, parts of Florida, southern Florida, especially Bahamas, northern and central Bahamas, back through Cuba and the Cayman Islands. Spotty shower storm elsewhere. While the rain chance in the eastern Caribbean isn't super high for us, we could get a shower storm developing. And then generally the same thing on Wednesday, and you can see a buildup of rain in Central America. So Belize, for example, where we have been so dry this month, the rain chance will be starting to go up. Now let's go out in time here further. This is as we work our way into Friday as we get toward the end of the week. Again, the American model is a little more aggressive with development. It's quickly showing a big area of rain here. And then this in the Eastern Pacific, I'll be watching this throughout the week. This area here will be sliding off toward the east. There could be a little bit of development out of that. And then watching out for a couple showers here and there as the dust leaves us in the Eastern Caribbean. As we get into the upcoming weekend, uh, that bigger area of rain. Again, we could get some development over here on the Eastern Pacific side, but we get that surge of rain through Central America and the Western Caribbean. And then the American model wants to develop it. But again, it keeps pushing it, the development chance down the road. You can see here, not really signs of uh, big signs of development all the way into June 11th. So we're talking a week and a half from now, not this Wednesday, the following Wednesday, and then eventually trying to make this area a tropical storm as it lifts up to the north. We'll see if that happens. But again, it was saying that this would happen right around June 4th or June 5th, and then it was June 7th or June 8th, and now it's saying a June 11th. So that's a sign that the model is off a little bit. But with that said, 
there will be some of that extra rain in here. And then we'll watch out for the next tropical wave that'll slide closer to Barbados, St. Lucia, Trinidad, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Antigua and Barbuda. Now, here's this other area that a sneaky little system could try to develop. We have that front that passed by. And by the way, look at that severe weather threat. Watching out for storms as we swing back through parts of uh, Colorado, uh, New Mexico, back toward uh, Texas for today. So scattered storms on the move. This is with the next front, severe weather threat, Oklahoma tomorrow, watching up toward uh, Missouri, for example, and there's some of the rain still around the Bahamas. But what happens is a little piece of this, here's this front, as this front moves in, it draws a little piece of this to the north, right? So here comes that front, and you see it right here, the front comes in parts of the U.S., drawing some of this moisture to the north. So it's kind of like a breakaway piece of some moisture, and then a little spin could develop here. With that said, even if it does develop, because this front is coming in, it would kind of drive it off toward the east. We'll, of course, watch over toward Bermuda, but a little spin developing right near North Carolina and South Carolina by the time we get into Thursday. Could it become tropical? Yes, if it has a, enough time over some of the warm water, it could become tropical, but at the least, some gustier winds and some rain, and you see by Friday sneaking off the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and then it just kind of gets combined into the front as we work our way into Saturday. So it wouldn't be a big system at all, but it would give that chance of some rain and some gusty winds at times. Now, here's the European model, showing the rain right in through here like we have. This is the spot near the Carolinas that I'm watching for some development, but at the Western Caribbean, the American model is showing some slow development as this area lifts to the north. Uh, the European model is not seeing that. So let's go out on time and just to orient you, here's Puerto Rico, uh, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, Dominica. Uh, you see here, this is by the time we get into Wednesday. Still a good area of rain right in through here, but no signs of development. But this is the same area the American model was just showing some development possible. Here comes that next front right through here. So this front helps draw up a little bit of moisture around this area of high pressure. So watch what happens here. This here is by Thursday and right in there, right near South Carolina and Georgia, a bit of a spin developing. So this is by Thursday. Could see some elevated seas off the southeast coast of the U.S. Nothing strong or anything like that. But a little spin right in through here. Still no development down here. And then this front takes this spin near North Carolina as we get into Friday and Saturday. And then once again, like the American model, combines it into the front. But you see what I'm seeing, that little spin, and it makes sense. I don't just look at the models, but it ties together. The front here will draw some moisture up to the north. But note by the weekend nothing developing in the Western Caribbean. Unlike what the American model had, that's the difference in some of the modeling. However, on the Eastern Pacific side, we're going to see a big surge of moisture. Something may develop a second name system in the Eastern Pacific, may develop by the time we get into the upcoming weekend. Now, I mentioned the warm water temperatures. Of course, they're warming up uh, from uh, Jamaica back through the Cayman Islands, Cuba. Water temperatures around in some pockets around 31 degrees Celsius, pushing 90 degrees Fahrenheit. We're warming up all across the Caribbean. And here's that warm Gulf Stream. And this is a current that lifts up to the north right off the coast of the Carolinas, right around 28 degrees Celsius, 83 degrees Fahrenheit, which is conducive for tropical development. So if this little spin has enough time to sit over this warm water, it may briefly become a named system. So a couple of the reasons that I'm watching this area, no doubt. Now on the flip side, that dust has moved in near uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos, Puerto Rico. Look at this dust right in through here. This dust uh, back behind it, you get pockets of dust this time of year. Back behind it, not a lot. Another surge of dust near the coast of Africa. But you see that dust that has moved in for a lot of us. I'll be watching our comments, Saba, Stacia, we have some of that dust around down through uh, St. Lucia, uh, St. Vincent, the Grenadines even, and then that dust kind of curls its way up near the Gulf and especially Cuba back through the Bahamas by the time we get into Wednesday it will lessen for a lot of us in the Eastern Caribbean. So does the dust uh, stop hurricanes from happening? Well, not necessarily. Actually, a system can form even with dust around it, but dust is accompanied with dry air. So yeah, that is that is helpful, but it's a temporary thing. You get dust here, no dust here, more dust over here. In this time of year, June and July, that's when we get more of the dust, and then it typically settles down right after July. Watching some of the elevated seas, here's meters, here's feet on the right-hand side of your screen. A little bit of a chop. Let me take you through the week. Nothing too terrible for the seas for the most part from the Gulf Caribbean back through the Atlantic 
waters as we work our way through the week. Right there though, they may get a bit elevated. You see that? That's what that spin I was watching near the Carolinas. So a bit uh, rougher just off this, this is by Friday, off the southeast of the US in south of Jamaica, south of Haiti, north of Colombia. That's where it'll be a bit bumpier in the uh, Caribbean. So as far as the rain goes, we have that rain around. Look at Freeport and NASA. We may get uh, uh, over toward uh, Nassau and New Providence, back through even the, the central Bahamas, so northern and central, we may get some spots for a three-day total of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. We have not had that in a while. Same thing, parts of Cuba, especially western and central end, in the Cayman Islands, we're going to have some spots over 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. Spotty shower storm, Jamaica, Haiti, the DR, back through Puerto Rico. But in this sector here, there is still a chance of a shower, but we have that dust around, right? So that dust, dry air is going to limit things down through Trinidad. Although Trinidad, we had some of that rain sneaking in yesterday. Uh, Dominica passing shower chance, but very low chance. St. Vincent, the Grenadines. But again, Guyana and Suriname, some spots over 75 millimeters of additional rain over the next three days and then watching especially near the Pacific side Guatemala El Salvador parts of Honduras Nicaragua Costa Rica Panama some spots again over 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of some rain and then we get up and around. We've had some of that flooding that's been near Mexico City. And then as we work our way back here, that next front rolling in to parts of the, the US, this is the front that is gonna draw this moisture up to the north. That's where I'm watching for some development. But you see Oklahoma City back through Dallas, we're gonna get four, five inches of rain. And of course, some of, that, uh, some of the thunderstorms and even that severe weather potential, then all of this as the week goes on will be shifting its way off toward the east. So an isolated shower storm for us in Jamaica today. We're looking at about a 30% chance. Cayman Islands though, a higher chance of rain, up to about a 50% chance over the next couple days. Let me know, keep me posted. I'll be watching with you throughout the day. 10 to 20% chance, that's it though, as we work our way back through uh, Trinidad and uh, Tobago, 10 to 20% chance in Barbados. Some of that dust around, some of that haze, you may be seeing some of that. That limits the rain chance from St. Lucia and limits the rain chance from Grenada, back through St. Vincent the Grenadines, rain chance only at 20% for the day ahead. Even lower as we get through Martinique, rain chance just 10%. 20 to 30% chance of an isolated shower in Dominica. Rain chance will start to pick up later this week. Same thing as we work our way back through Guadalupe, Antigua, Barbuda. Today we are mainly on the dry side, watching the unhealthy air quality that's been around because of some of the dust. Rain chance stays low, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, and mainly dry today and tomorrow and Guilla and St. Barts. Stray chance of a shower, St. Martin, St. Anastasia. We get back through Puerto Rico, an isolated chance of a shower by Wednesday. We'll be up to a 30% chance, and we're mainly dry U.S and British Virgin Islands. 60% chance of rain today, even higher northern sections of the Bahamas. That's where we're going to see some of the heavier rain, northern and central Bahamas, over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, mainly dry, 30% chance of a shower in the Dominican Republic, and only a very limited chance across Haiti with some of that dust around. Rain chance in Belize the next couple of days, we have a 30% chance, mainly dry Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, that rain chance chance only at about 10%. Then we swing back toward Guyana. That's where we're going to watch out for more flooding. Same thing as we work our way through Suriname. Even by the middle of the week, we can see that rain chance bumping up further. Cuba, we have some of that rain around the next several days and some thunderstorms embedded in that. That could lead to some flooding too. Costa Rica and Panama, uh, again, watching out for some flooding and the mudslide potential. Nicaragua, 50 to 60% chance, 40 to 50% chance as we work our way back through Honduras. Honduras, a 70% chance, Guatemala and El Salvador, and watching out for the flood potential right around Mexico City over the next couple of days. Yucatan Peninsula starts to bump up, 40% chance of a shower or storm uh, today, 50% chance by tomorrow. Then gradually, uh, northern Colombia will be going up in a 30 to 40% chance back through northern Venezuela. In Bermuda tonight, even into tomorrow, with that front pressing in, about a 50% chance of getting some rain. So lots of different areas to track. New areas of rain will be developing uh, in, with us the next few days, especially back through the Bahamas, Cuba, watching over toward the Cayman Islands, still tracking that dust, tropical waves on the move, and watching near the southeast U.S., where there could be 
a little sneaky system trying to spin up and I will keep you posted on that and everything. I hope you have a great start to the week.